Some slightly lower humidity. I mean, we'll take it. That's coming our way starting yeah, next Wednesday, but that's what Cherie said. It's New Orleans and this is what we got. It's that time of the year. Can you believe May is coming to a close? The last full week of May is this coming week. So if you are headed to the Greek Fest this weekend, make sure you drink plenty of water, stay hydrated and cool. Temperatures in the lower 90s every day. So we are actually seeing temperatures a few degrees above average right now. It's 87, so it is hotter than average, but about what you would expect for this time of year. So Greek Fest, sunshine all weekend long, hot and humid. That is the story for everything happening outdoors this weekend. Check out our current temperatures, 80s everywhere, still hanging on to 90 in Bogalusa, 91 in Baton Rouge, 87 in New Orleans and in Mandeville, 88 in Slidell. Feels like temperatures in the triple digits for Raceland, 99 is how it feels in Thibodeau and 90s everywhere, except for right along the immediate coast, feeling more comfortable at the coast in the 80s, but otherwise feeling pretty hot in the mid to upper 90s for most of us. Luckily today, again, it's been a bit breezy. Winds are coming in from the south. We'll keep southerly winds with us through the weekend, and it will be occasionally breezy through tonight and again tomorrow and through this entire weekend. We are going to stay dry, but there are still rounds of severe weather expected for the plains and into the Midwest tonight and really throughout the next several days. We don't have to deal with any of this. A lot of storms starting to fire up closer to, to Chicago down towards St. Louis. Also storms firing up towards Dallas and East Texas. Those will continue to move eastward through northern Louisiana into Arkansas tonight through early tomorrow. Tomorrow, plenty of sunshine, a few clouds developing for us. That's it. We stay dry Saturday, Sunday, much of the same. More storms forming way to our north in the Midwest through the latter part of this weekend. We dodge those and we miss out on any of the rain, which is nice for outdoor plans, but no cooling showers this weekend. Also with those storms tonight to our north comes severe weather for East Texas into Oklahoma. Also uh, for parts of the Midwest tonight and then tomorrow an even higher risk for severe weather for the Southern Plains into Kansas down to Oklahoma again. And then Sunday more severe weather expected for parts of the Midwest, especially towards St. Louis up towards uh, Cincinnati. Again, don't have to worry about any of that here. It's just this high pressure that's still centered over Mexico. We're going to be on the northern edge of that. That keeps us really hot your entire Memorial Day weekend. Hot, dry, no rain. The high pressure suppresses any rain chances. The only relief, though, is that slight dip in humidity that may come by Wednesday and Thursday with that weak front. It's not going to cool us down, but some slightly drier air may make it feel a little less humid the second half of next week as we wrap up May. Here's your Memorial Day forecast. Sunny skies all weekend, dry weather. Now, Monday, there is a very low chance for a stray shower, only 10%. I think most of us see nothing, but Monday looks to be our hottest day, probably middle 90s for our afternoon highs. So all weekend long, low mid 90s, feeling like the triple digits. So make sure you take those breaks in the shade. Don't overdo it this weekend and kind of, you know, keep it cool. Stay hydrated. Chance of rain getting a little higher going into Tuesday and Thursday of next week. Still keeping it on the lower end of the scale, about 30% chance. We'll see a couple spotty showers and storms Tuesday and Thursday. So at least we bring back some cooling showers, but those showers are going to be hit or miss Tuesday and Thursday. And then Wednesday, Friday, even lower chance for a couple spotty showers and rumbles of thunder. If you are headed to the beaches along the Gulf Coast, it's going to feel really nice at the coast. Temperatures in the 80s for Florida and into Alabama and Mississippi. Some 90s early this weekend and again on Monday, but mostly looking like 80s and dry weather for the beaches all weekend long. Here's your seven day hot weather. That's all you need to know. Breezy with those cooling showers coming back the second half of next week.